On March 12, 2023, it was announced that a young trans woman by the name of Eden Knight had passed away. Officially, she had taken her own life. This was a murder. Shortly before the reveal of this information, Eden released a statement wherein she described the experiences that led up to her decision. Her parents, deeply conservative religious fundamentalists, were unwilling to accept Eden's trans identity. They made the decision to hire a team to de-transition their daughter. Michael Pokalico, CEO of private investigation company Special Investigations, former Republican political candidate. Ellen Cole, managing director. Together, they manipulated Eden into believing they were fixers who could repair Eden's fractured relationship with her family. Together, they manipulated Eden into leaving her trans-affirming home to return to her home state. Further isolating Eden from any support, she would be introduced to another individual who convinced Eden to stay with him in DC as he would begin the process of grooming her out of her trans identity. By the time Eden became fully aware of what was happening, she had already been made completely dependent on this man, isolated and financially controlled. She felt left with two choices, to detransition or die, death or death. In the obituary statement given by Eden's parents, they continued to refer to her by her old name and by the pronoun he. This was a murder. I rarely make videos like this on my channel because for the most part I try to use this as a space to talk about my beliefs in an attractive and entertaining way. Engaging with certain political realities can already be an extremely dire and depressing prospect and I try to use different angles to encourage critical thoughts about the world we live in. Certainly, this video will not resemble the tone or style of anything released before or after it. I don't care about any of that right now. Conservative politics, conservative culture, have murdered this girl. Eden is only one story in an endless chain of queer-identified and marginalized people targeted by conservative politicians and environments. It is why all ad revenue for this video will be going to Trans Lifeline, an organization dedicated to helping these individuals. Conservatives do this because their only true concern is power, and when they see their children behaving in ways they see as strange or unfamiliar, they fear a loss of power, a loss of control of the cultural and therefore political narrative. These people would rather see their children die than face the reality of change. Despite constant media fear-mongering, these are the groomers who destroy lives, and when they find out about these tragedies, they laugh. Eden deserves justice, justice which can only take the form of fighting back against the people who have done this, and the systems they hold control over that allow these tragedies to go on. Much of what I said here is based on a document I've linked below, written by those closest to Eden, which provides more information, and I can only echo the sentiment expressed in that document, to pressure as many journalists as you can to tell this story. While I know there is a degree of risk in talking about this at all, there are powerful people connected to this story who have gone unnamed for the sake of my own self-preservation. If you'd like to learn more, there is a clear avenue to do so. Only as a collective can we share Eden's story, share our rage at what has happened, and bring justice to her name. I wish I had a comforting resolution to sign off with. That will have to wait.